Hello everybody, it is N, and I'm here to discuss the build cipher wheel. It appears at the beginning of every show in a flash, which means it's extremely important. This the the person in the center is obviously Bill Cipher. If you don't know who he is, you should probably watch the series and come back because this contains a lot. This uh, this contains a lot of spoilers, and you wouldn't want to know the the entire thing before you finished it, would you? So this is Bill Cipher, the main anta antagonist, and I think and uh, the wheel that surrounds him must have something important to do with him. It might be the people who will need to uh, band, to get a, uh, band together to stop him, or it might be the people who he is specially hunting down or keeping watch on. Whatever it is, it's extremely important. The first person is Stanley. This is Stanley because we've seen these glasses on him before. So I have a picture to show you. So over here. That's the exact glasses he is wearing. Just take a look at these glasses, and come back, they're the exact same pair. This is Seuss. You probably know this already, because he always wears that shirt, that's the thing that he always wears, it's his symbol. So, um, I'll be showing you a picture of that too. Right there. Just like always. Even the dripping design is the same. Next is the ice. The ice is the biggest mystery. We have no idea who the ice is. Many people, the most common thing people think about the ice is that it's Wendy. Because she is cool, and she's often around ice. That, that's also my theory. But Velsky Bum, 94, if you haven't seen him, you should check it out. He thinks that it's the Time Baby, which is also an amazing theory. Because he was stuck in ice. Right now, I'm somewhere in between them. I really don't know what to think about it. The next, I don't have a picture of that because we don't know who it is anyway. So, next is Stanford. He wears this fez. Well, he wears a different kind of fez, but it changes somewhere through the series. And it changes back. So that's basically one of the feathers. That's the one he wears least, I think. I'm pretty sure it's the one he wears least. That's the feather that it showed on the Bill Cipher wheel, and that's the one that he usually wears. Next is Dipper. He wears the pine tree hat, which is his symbol. Oh, I, I probably, you probably already know this, but I'm going to show you guys anyway. Dipper pines, right there, on his head. Next is Gideon. Gideon's symbol is the star with an eye in it. It is the symbol for the tent of telepathy. So, I'm going to go show it to you again. I'm going to show you guys a picture of every single one, so yeah. The tent of telepathy, right there, and this is Gideon's. This is Gideon's area. This is his. That's his symbol. Next is the author of the journals, my brother. Yep, that's the famous quote. Anyway, this is the author. It is the six-fingered hand that made that made the journals. Hold on, guys. There, six fingers on the journal. So, yep, that's the author of the journals. And Stanley is the author, which is kind of confusing. Would it? Would this be a different symbol? It's possible, but we doubt it, because these are the exact same glasses that Stanley wears. It's possible that this is Mechakit. It's very it's unlikely, but it's possible that this is Mechakit. It's also possible that this is Mechakit, and we've had some wrong things, but this is the main thing that everybody thinks of. And this, the llama, is Pacifica. This is not confirmed yet, but it's, the, it's very likely that it is Pacifica. Unless Mabel has a, um, a secret clone, Liebam. Then it would be, then it's possible it would be Liebam. But right now, the main thing is that it's Pacifica. Right there. Pac Mabel wears a sweater while the, uh, while the, while the, Lama is facing that way. On the cipher wheel, it's facing that way, which means backwards, which also means opposite. So it might be something to represent that they are opposites. Mabel also, uh, sorry. 
Pacifica, Pacifica's family is also a llama collector. Uh, they collect pictures of llam paintings and pictures of llamas. So that's another thing. Next is Mabel. That is a signature sweater. She wears a lot of sweaters, but that and that is one of them. So Mabel is right there. That's her sweater. She also wears other sweaters like that one. Yeah, but that's one of the main sweaters. Next is Robbie. Robbie has not been an extremely important character so far. He's been rivaling with Dipper, but he hasn't been that important. He's he has had gotten his hands on many magical items, and he's very suspicious and and uh, dark. There's many theories. One that he might be um, a vampire, uh, sorry, a zombie. There's another that he has a clone. There's tons of theories, but yeah. So, and uh, I think that one of those theories is correct because why else would he be on the cipher wheel? If he was, if one of those theories wasn't correct, he would just be a normal character. He right now, he then he would be an important character. This shows he's is an important character. And I'm gonna show you the sweater, his uh, sweater. There. Next is. Well, and uh, no, it, I'm done. So, comment on what you think, like, and yeah. Goodbye, peoples.